What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna ride some dirt bikes today. We are gonna explore the power lines and I'm gonna be going with Nathan today. He's gonna have the GoPro Hero 8 Black on the chest mount to uh, show you guys all the locations. We're gonna hit this one muddy spot on the power line and see if there's we can get through it. Spots. Yeah, we're just gonna explore today. So there's like a huge amount of distance that we can cover, but there's a few spots that we've explored already they have huge mud puddles in them and we don't even know if we can cross them, but we're gonna try today. And then when we get back, we are going to show you guys the new pressure washer that we mounted right there. It's an electric pressure washer that we just put up today. It's a Giraffe Tools brand. The model number, if you guys are interested, is P106-G30. There it is, but it's super nice and we're gonna show you guys how it works. And we'll put a link in the description for you guys if you guys wanna use one or if you want to buy one for yourself. But we needed a new pressure washer, so we got that one, and we like it so far. But we still haven't used it to clean the bikes. We've just been, like, testing it out on the driveway and stuff. But we'll show you guys that. But we are going to go explore the power line. You want to hit that jump for them real quick again or not? You got really good on that jump. We built a ramp right over here, right there going into the field. Um, it has a, a couple big rocks in it, but um, Nathan got really good at jumping it. I only jumped it one time, almost fell off the bike, but anyways, I'm always filming, so. You know when my knee went up and like. Oh yeah. Hey, look at your bathing suit. Donuts. Nice, I love it. So cute, Liv. Perfect. Oh, I like the bathing suit. She loves it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Donuts. You're so pretty. Donuts. Nice, getting ready for the summertime. But yeah, I'm gonna be on the 450. Nate's gonna be on his YZ250. And what were you saying about the jump? He jumped and it kicked him and he like landed with his knee. Show him how you landed here. I'll hold the bike up. He like landed like that on the seat. But anyways, you had your boots on though at that time. Or is that when I said you need to put your boots on? Oh, good. There's Bubby, we gave him a haircut. Hey, Bubby. There's Bubby. I gave him a haircut yesterday. All right, guys, so we're gonna hit the road, the trails, and we're going to explore. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. You guys are the best, better than the rest. Ride fly. 50 gigawatts. 50 gigawatts. All right, you lead the way, Nathan. I'll follow behind. I have been letting Nathan ride my YZ450 like on the road and stuff because my tires are already bald. All right, let's hit the trails. There's the Hemiway Cruiser that we got. That thing is super nice. If you guys want a mountain bike, like a cruiser mountain bike, not for like huge jumps, but like pretty rough trails and stuff, that thing is really cool. Um, check out the video. Pretty good video. You ready to go, Nate Dog? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go, guys. Let's ride. Whoa, nice. All right, my turn. Is the battery going dead on the golf cart? I think the battery's going dead. They ride that thing all the time. Come on, let's go.
got watery. I got water everywhere. Now, um, when you go through that big mud puddle over there, you're gonna have to hit it pretty fast. You can't stop. I went through. No, I'm talking about the other one.
do I? I don't know if I'll make it through that. Go for it. You go. brakes on this are going down i almost bit it up there on the rock that's why you you always say use front brakes i always use back brakes i never use a front brake uh, yeah back brakes in a turn definitely <laughs>
that hill was steeper than that. Hey, it was kind of hard to get up. Hey, but it's been drying out. It was muddy when I went on the 110. Yeah. All right, you lead the way this time through the back of the woods, and we'll go to the uh, park and go to that grill. But it's like, I'm not positive where it's at.
that way. Yeah, All right, that was good. All right, guys, so we went through the trails. Um, you want me to put the GoPro on? You did pretty good that time. It takes practice to get the feel for certain trails, and then you can gain It's pretty speed. easy for me. It was hard the first time compared though, right? <laughs> I mean, it, I it's kind of, all the trails are usually easy for me now. Yeah, well, it seemed like every time I turned around, you were way behind me. I stay, the thing I was worried about you the most is that you were gonna stop. And I was gonna slam into you. I mean, I could have went 10 times faster, but like. All right, let me get You saw how I put my feet down? Yeah. I wanted to like sink in it. Yeah, I wish I would have got it on the video. All right, let's go through through this trail back through here. Let me get you on the uh, GoPro. Just turn it off real quick. Okay, I hit the first one. Nathan's going to hit the second what one. What if I sink in it? Then I'll get you out. You got to go. You can't stop, and you have to be in second gear. No, I go. I stay in first gear. No, be in second. I'll go in it, I guess. Is it bigger than that one? Yeah. Well, you'll... I'll, it's like double the size of that one. Oh my God. You don't, that's the problem. You don't know how the ruts are, how deep they are. There could be ruts at the bottom of that. That's what I mean. How would it get like wet? Well, it's gonna be like even because the water's gonna keep it soft. Anyways, just I'll follow you. All right. You have to make that turn, so go straight. I don't think I'll make it. Yeah, you will. Right there. Park where I'm in and start right here.
disgusting. Hey, Dad. What? You went through the non deep side. <laughs> Shoot. No, I went through right where you went through. It's fun. Yeah. All right, let's go back around and go back one more time. Give me my kickstand, my um, stand. All right, guys, we made it back. There's the bikes. We got them dirty, guys. We went through like some epic mud puddles. I hope you guys like, oh, watch out, Drew. That has thorns all over it. it. 
Drew's like wailing. That was like in my bike, that thorn bush. I hit that thing full speed. Anyways, that was that was pretty good. I didn't know it was gonna fling dirt all over. Yeah, we're muddy. So if you don't want to get muddy, go on the inside. So this is a mud party, Drew. All right. It was super wet, guys, because it's been pouring down rain for the past week. And like my tires, oh my god, it was there were some really hairy situations. Like I almost like I'm slipped out pretty going pretty fast a couple times. But yeah, I definitely am gonna buy some new tires. There's Nathan's bike, he made it through. He went through, I went through first on the first big mud puddle. And then Nathan went through the second. That was a bigger actually mud puddle than the well, first one. Well, I kinda cheated because I just stepped in and how deep it is yeah but i didn't but cheat about it, we didn't go on the right side it could have been way deeper on the right side yeah well the thing is, so is you, you had to have a line you had to have a line no you it's on the video you can watch the video where i went i went right behind you oh you could have cut over though in the middle anyways um your boots actually look cleaner than what they were we have our boots are completely soaking wet we are gonna pressure wash these bikes real quick. We're gonna show you guys this new pressure washer anyways. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. We have it hung right here. It's electric. We have the cord right here hooked up into the wall and it has a 100 foot, uh, 100 foot retractable hose. You wanna get as much cord as you want before you stop pulling on it. Get like a bunch. It's 100 feet. So 100 feet, so you just pull, pull it until to your heart's content and then it locks in place and then you so then you got to make sure it's um turned on just make sure you have water because if you turn this thing on without their water being on it burns it up so the water's on no. oh turn it on okay make sure the water's on good okay make oh, sure all the air's out of it what and it comes with the spray bottle for, for soap yeah for soap so you can hook this thing up and if you want to soak things up first you can Basically, the soap bottle like hooks onto this, and you can adjust uh, how much soap you want. So now turn it on, Nathan. That's the power button on the side. Make sure you got water. It's electric. It's going to prime everything first. And now um, you just press the button, and it will just automatically turn on. So let's see how good this thing works. All right, he's going to wash these things up. Look at this, guys. So this is a giraffe tool. We really wanted a new pressure washer. We saw this one and we figured we'd get this one just to try it out because we have, and when you stop um, pulling the trigger right there, Nathan, it turns off. It has a trigger lock on here also. You got a whole like briar. Yeah, I told you, I went through some no, briars, like man. Oh breaks. man, I'm gonna have to cut that off. Anyways, you have these um, different nozzles right here, zero degree, 15 degree, 25, and 40. This one's just to like cut stuff in half. Yeah, 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 take, the, take that one off. It's too too harsh, so look. No, this look. one. Yeah, that's too harsh, but I want the green one. That's You don't want it too harsh on your dirt bike. Here. Well, I was spraying it pretty far away. All right, And you put just that one in. It. You just pop it in here. Give, give me the green one. Pop it on. It has really good seals. It doesn't leak at all. And look. You don't waste gas or anything, so it just comes on when you need it. And honestly, if you really wanted to, you could just leave everything on and it would just be there. Just pull it out. Um, so yeah, it's the giraffe tool. It comes with everything you need to mount it. Um, it, get, it actually comes with um, some lag screws. There it is right there, guys. It comes with some lag screws and gives you an extra hose so you can... Um, Put it wherever you want, but they want you to keep it like inside. Well, we really like it, and if you're it gonna get, it doesn't feel powerful, but it gets like if it's powerful, like yeah, it gets all the stuff off. Spray my boots off real quick. Look at this, guys. There it is. That way you can keep your stuff clean. My boots are completely soaking wet. We're gonna really have to dry these out. If you guys get wet boots, make sure you dry them out. As soon as possible, because they'll get mildew, guys, especially in the summertime. This thing doesn't, like, like the um, motorized pressure washers, like, will do a kick. And yeah. these things are just so smooth, but they're so powerful, too. Yeah. And also, if you need more um, jet power, you can, you can um, go um, down on the size of the nozzles. So, what do you rate it so far from 1 to 10 compared to the other one? A 10. A 10, guys. Anyways, he's cleaning off my... YZ450 right now, getting it nice and clean. They needed a good bath. This is the pressure washer that we used to have in here, guys. Um, it was a power mate, and the thing is so heavy. I mean, it's portable, we can still use it, um, but we're probably not gonna use it anymore. I don't know, we might sell it or just give it away to somebody, I don't know. This thing's super nice, guys. 
And also check out their website, Giraffe Tools. They have all kind of different pressure washers. So if you want a different design, they have roller ones and just different ones. Just check them out, guys. Pretty good product. This stuff never comes off, even with the best pressure washers. This stuff right here is like so oily. Even if when I scrub it with my fingers, it doesn't okay, come off. Okay, let's see what you got. See, this, no, I was saying it just doesn't come off. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's been on there. That's something you need to get like a scrub brush in, like, right. like a metal scrub yeah. brush. Make sure the radiators are really clean so you don't get overheating, especially in the summertime. Because you want ultimate cooling. Look under here, guys. Look how dirty. All right, let's see this. Nice. Sick. Oh, guys. What do you think? Should I get the new Hayabusa? Just leave a comment if you want me to get it. If you guys think I should get it, then um, if more people think I should get it than not get it, then I won't get it. I mean, I said, <laughs> I said if more people think I should get it than not get it, then I won't get it. No, I said if more people want me to get it, then I'll get the new Hayabusa. But you guys tell me which color is the best. All right, how is it doing? It's like way. So Alright, there's a piece of dirt right there, Nathan, right here. Where? On the mapping. I mean on the start, the launch control. Nice. Looking good. Make sure to keep Looking really good. I love how it has like a super long hose. Look at how dirty Nathan got, guys. My god. That you gotta admit, that was fun though. You that you gotta admit that was fun, right Nate Dog? Yes, it was. I want to get a four-wheeler. I'd rather be on a dirt bike. Because, I mean, the only problem with a dirt bike is that you can crash. How many times did you think I was going to go down? Two. Only on the jump. Oh, yeah, I did crash. I totally forgot I crashed. Oh, yeah. Did it look bad? Yeah, it looked pretty bad. <laughs> you, like, slid out. Oh, yeah, look at my jacket, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I slid out, I grabbed too much front brake, and it was like pure like pine straw and pure mud. Yeah, and it just went want, straight out. If you guys ever want to use that soap thing, you just fill it up and spray the, like wet the bike first, and then yeah. spray the soap on it, and then you'll spray the water. We like, should try that next time. We'll do a video of using the soap. We're gonna get a good, just give us what kind of soap, what's the best kind of soap we should use for, um, for pre-soaking the dirt bikes before we wash them off and we'll try it out for you guys and see how good it is. You can pressure wash anything. How clean your bike was before. Oh, look at it, guys. Thanks, Nathan. That looks good, how man. Thanks, pressure washer. Oh, look at that. Look at what I did, guys. Look at that. Hold on, Nathan. It doesn't come out, trust me. Look at it, guys. It. It's wrapped around the briars. Oh, my God. I got to get that out. This stuff is boiling down here and it's just coming off. The Let's see. Nice. Looking good, man. And it's All so, right, your the bike's turned. This one was so heavy. This one's so light. Like. Nice. Okay, before, and then pretty soon we're going to see after. Look up there. Okay. Nice. Oh, you're getting water all over the camera. Looking good. Look at the tire. Look at the tire, guys. Do the lens. When you're done washing your bike, do you dry it off or like go ride it? Yeah, I'd rather just ride it. We'll do that. We'll go down the road a couple times. I gotta, I'm gonna wipe the lens off. I'll be back. Now it's right up. Looks good. Very awesome tool. It's so easy to use. Like, it's not like you have to like do it like a pole star or. Yeah. The only thing that you have to do is just hang it up on the wall, right? And you just run your um, hose into the inside. But they sell one that's on a, you know, a card, and you just plug it in, and you just take it anywhere you want. So oh. there's other kinds. I want to, I want to buy one that has. I'm gonna buy the cart one. I'm gonna get a, that I'm way. Get we could take Yamaha it with Yamaha. us, but you have to, and it runs on the generator. We already have a generator, so you just have to have water though. Oh, so yeah, you can use it. You get a tank of water. 
um, a generator and then that, and bam, you're good. You can go on yeah, the trails. Yeah, I want to get a new cover for this, like a blue cover. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's just going to get scratched up just like that one. What do you rate the Yamaha, the Yamaha YZ250S from 1 to 10? I don't know what to rate it. I like it a lot, but I don't know what to rate it because of all the other bikes. Make sure you get your radiator good. Oh, God, you got so much dirt still on there. That's most important, one of the most important spots to get is the radiator, guys. All right, guys, well, we had fun. Showed you the pressure washer almost finished. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. You guys are the best, better than the rest. We took you on the trails today. I wrecked one time, almost wrecked like three other times. We conquered the huge mud puddles and had a great time. And um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. We love you guys. God bless. And Nathan, what do you got to say? Thanks for watching. This pressure washer is awesome. Bye. Bye, guys. All right, guys. I forgot to show you how easy this thing um, ravels back up. I just wanted to let Nathan do it. So basically, turn the water off. Actually, you don't really have to turn the water off. Just well, leave I'm it like that. Look. Turn it off. Okay, turn it off. But just don't run it when you put it up. All right, can just, I? Spray? Yeah, just a little bit. That's enough. All right, now turn it off. Watch right here. You just turn this. Turn it off. Out. Now spray all the pressure out. Because if you have pressure in there, then it will be hard to reel up. But watch, just pull that out. There you go. Now let it let it in, and it will sit there and like let it roll back in perfect fashion, guys. Look, look at how easy this is. Well, we got it's kind of tangled up. Yeah. Well, you got to stretch it out better. It's fine though. Just pull it out. You're supposed to pull it from the uh, long end. There you go. Just let it let it in. There you go. There it is. Okay. And then and then all you have to do is take it like this. There you go. Put it straight down. Turn this out like that. And then then turn that sideways. Bam. Fits right in there. Perfect yep. place. Nice and neat, ready to go it for next time, dirty, guys. It might be dirty, but you can just... Yeah, you can wash that off next time. It's nice. All right, we're going to go ride these bikes around and dry them off. Well, They're nice and clean. The thing is... What? Now I don't have a hose. It's okay. You got the pressure washer, just turn it on and use that. You can unhook that hose. Yeah, all you, all you guys have to do is turn on the hose. You can just look. No. Don't unhook it from there. Just trying to say, look, I'm going to show them. All right, guys. So basically, if you just want to unhook the hose and use the hose, if that's the only hose you have and you need to use it for something else, just yeah. you can just unscrew yeah, it. Yeah, but I don't want to do that because I don't want this thing to start leaking in my garage. But you can do that. But anyways, right, whatever. Well, guys, you can just turn the water on and you spray the hose. Right. Don't get dude. mad at me. And unhook it from out here and use that small hose over there that's in the, that's in the grass. Just unhook it from right there and I got another hose right there. Later. Later, guys.